Hey guys, it's the Power BI guy and today I have a report design video where I showcase how to build this Power BI report. Now, everyone's data is different. So the actual layouts of the visuals inside, you can have this however you want, but in terms of the structure and how to get to this end stage, I'm going to showcase how to do that. So without further ado, let's start this video. So the first thing that you want to do is import the color codes into your theme. Now, if we go to view, what I want you to do is select twilight as this is the formatting of the visuals that I like. Then I want you to go to uh, customize current theme. Now I have the color codes that we need to input into our colors over here. So if you pause the video and copy this into each section and then follow along once you've done that. So I will just go and add these color codes. Now, once you've added the color codes here, I want you to click apply and we now have that in our theme. So when we add a visual, it's going to use the colors that we already set. The next thing we want to do is adjust the canvas settings. And for our size, we want to go to canvas settings, custom, and then you can, uh, what we want to do is let's use 990 by 2100. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is go to insert and then for our shapes, we want to put in the background. So I want you to use rounded rectangle. Now, right now, this is too curved. So we need to go to our format shape and then rounded corners, corners to 1%. The next thing we want to do is style. And for the fill, we want to use the dark blue that we have and fill. So now bring that shape to the right hand side of your page and make this wider. And we want to put it there for now. Now, our next shape we want to bring all the way to the top leave this place here for your uh, filters or your slices and we want to make this wider across over here now for our third shape we want to bring this over here so now we've got the background layout of our of, of our report what we're going to do once again go to shapes and this time we want to do a uh, rounded rectangle again before our shape, we want our rounded corners to be one. And we want to ensure that we have visual border enabled and have the width as uh, one. And then for our color, I want you to use the first color that we have uh, at the top under your whites. And now that we have our shape, you can bring this over here and now make this bigger and wider. So let's make this wider let's bring that across over here so we now have our first uh, visual uh, visual area we're going to create another one and this one is going to be slightly smaller so we're going to align this with the bottom there we're going to bring this about halfway across so we can have our title of our report now we can make this wider so now we have our two visual plotting areas. So this is where we're actually going to plot our data. But the last shape that we need is uh, our background. So let's use for our filters. We're going to change this color of this to white and then turn off the border. Let's bring this here and completely fill this area. And now for our shadow, I'm going to apply a shadow. So we want to click our shape, uh, general effects, and then shadow. And what we're going to do is make this slightly wider. So adjust these accordingly until something that you're happy with. So now we have our two plot areas, but this is looking a little bit bland. So let's add some, uh, a little bit more contrast to this. So for our background shape here, we want to go to general and then apply a shadow once again. And immediately you're going to see it looks a lot more dynamic and one more time for the bottom shape we're going to apply a shadow so i made a mistake here i clicked shape and shadow what we want is general effects then shadow so now we can see the report has a lot more layer to it it's a lot more it's deeper than it was originally now for our title we want to insert a text box in format and then for our font, we're going to use a segway bold and let's turn this to 18. And then for our color, we want white. And let's call this Forbes Billionaire List 2022. And we need to make this bigger. 
So let's use 28. And we can go bigger than that. We can go 36. So we now have the title of our report that can sit over there. Now this is where you can be creative of how you're going to actually input your visuals. Um, what we want to do is insert shapes, so rectangle. But this time we want the background of the shape to be white. So ensure we got style, fill, and then white. And for our border, we want uh, the gray and ensure that the width is one. So place this how you will in terms of your report and your data points, but I'm going to put one uh, shape there and we can curve this. So let's do rounded corners one. Or let's go two because it's a bit it's a bit harsh. So we're going to go two for that. Now copy and paste this background for so this is for your visual elements so we have one visual there we're going to have one visual over here which is a bit wider let's make this a little bit smaller and once again we can place our final visual so let's this is going to be another small one and then i'm going to bring this over here so depending on the data story that you want to tell, you can adjust these however you want. These are essentially where your visuals are going to go. And for this section of the report, I want some headline metrics. So these are going to be bigger. So I've got one there. Let's make this wider. I'm going to place a time series calculation at the bottom potentially. So we want this to be over a period. So we need more space. And for the top, we were going to have two uh, KPIs here. So let's have a split. Now, essentially, you're ready to go and start plotting your visuals. So let's have let's let's give this a go with one of our uh, visuals and what we're going to do. So what happened to our shape there? Let's bring that back. So let's go ahead and create one of our visuals. So we've got our donut chart and I want to look at the count of billionaires and the gender. So I'm going to bring that into a visual, then gender. And then for our colors, we're going to use uh, for male, let's use our blue. Then for female, we're going to use our orange. And let's just leave NA the way it is. We need to uh, disable the title because we don't need the title for this. And then I want to make this thinner as I want a KPI uh, account in the middle of just billionaires regardless of gender. So we need to go to uh, spacing and then bring up the inner radius slightly. Then for legend, let's bring this bottom center. Bottom center. And then for our detail labels, I want the percent. Now we could calculate this with a measure and I would do this, but for now, let's just leave it as an implicit measure so we have our first donut chart now for our title what we're going to do is copy this it's the same font it's a bit fiddly but we're going to copy this down and then we're going to turn this to the dark gray and make the font size 18 and let's call this billionaires by gender And then enable, and let's make sure this is bold. All the copy and pasting is a bit, being a bit funny. And now we have our first header and we can make this a bit darker. So we're going to use the bottom gray. Uh, the bottom gray. So we have our first visual and then I'm going to put a card in the middle. Just our count of billionaires change the font of this to uh, segway bold once again let's use semi bold take that back we're going to do bold and then for our category label we're going to turn that off if we and for our category label what we want to do is just call this billionaires Go back to our category label and let's turn this to semi bold. And we can make that bigger and place that in the center of our visual. 
So that's our first metric there. From, from, from doing this, we can now copy the titles. So what I recommend is we copy this title. Let's format this correctly. And let's place this on all our visuals uh, in the top left hand corner. And if you hold Alt, you can move it uh, more freely without locking it onto the grid. So I'm going to bring this across all our visuals. So there, now we can start plotting all our visuals the way we want to. So this is going to be billionaires by city, billionaires by age. So let's create our age visual. So I'm going to use a scatter plot to look at the trend and we can see anomalies. So I'm going to bring in age and then uh, we don't want to summarize the age and the count of billionaires. And then for the color, we're going to make this an orange. So this needs to be in markers and then category color. We're going to use orange. So we now have our first visual and let's now turn the title off of that. So let's do. So now that we've learned how to create the background, go ahead and place your visuals and use the color fonts that we added into our theme. Um, like I said, there's not much value in me showing you how to create these visuals. Um, I'm assuming you would know how to create visuals. It's just about applying the color fonts that we've uh, added to the report. And you can adjust these white backgrounds to however you want to present your data. Uh, but essentially the structure of the report we know how to create. And the last thing we need to do is just add in our slicers. So the formatting for that is select slicer. Let's bring in the gender for example. Make this a drop down. And then for the background, we want to set this as we want general effects, turn this on transparency zero and the visual border we want as white and then round the edges twice. And you can now go ahead and copy and paste your slices uh, into this section here. So your users know exactly where all the filters are. And let's say we didn't want a slicer. Uh, sorry, we didn't want it as a drop down. We can adjust this to a list. For however we want our users to interact and see uh, their data. So without further ado, it's the Power BI 